I'm Dan from Rocky. Let's get on it and let's go and uh, hit the trails at Degler. Mr. Sunnington. It certainly feels like it can jump all right. Holy moly! How's the 650 B feel? Yeah, the most power, torque power. Ready? Yeah. Go. I don't even feel like I'm trying. Whoa! So easy to just pop it. Whoa! Good morning folks, come over to Land Egler today and look who's with me, Mr Sunnington, borrowing some of my Smith glasses yeah. on his Ebicky. Checking your bolts. My Ebicky, situated here, is actually staying in the van because I've got a different one to ride today, which uh, I'll show you in a minute. Quite excited about this, so this is one that I'm borrowing for a bit, just to try it out and uh yeah also today i'm giving the fluffy things one last try on the hero 9. last time we had wind noise because of that one i didn't have covered up so i've got all three holes covered up and let's see if it works yeah, here we go here we go there you are rocky mountain rickety mountain and uh you want to introduce yourself basically uh, hello I'm Dan from Rocky. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got a, a bike to borrow for a bit. Well, you have, try yeah. Try out. That one over there, yeah. Which is the. It's the uh, Altitude Power Play. And this is the 650. Yeah, 650. 150, 160, am I right? Yeah. 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 You know more than me. 108 Newton meters of power. That's what we claim, yeah. Yeah. Um, but actually, it's a little bit more than that. Yes. Right, and, and the tests have been, it's come out a little bit more powerful. Yeah, so. tunable, well. six, they're quite short, aren't they? 650 something reach on a large, is that right? Yes. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they tend to, well, they've gone longer actually. Uh, we've, as kind of keeping up with market trend and everything, they've, yeah. they've gone a little bit longer, a little bit more stretched out as the ride yeah. has kind of changed. Okay, um, but yeah, I mean, get on it and prove okay. it's in the eating, isn't it? All right, so before I ride, just to tell you a couple of little things that's very interesting with Rocky. In here, obviously, is their own motor, which is super rare. They've got like a pulley here, so the motor isn't directly to the crank. So the cranks and everything, it's totally free. You can have a nice short back end. Yes, so the, the, the biggest unique feature is that basically the geometry of this altitude with the motor in it is exactly the same as the altitude without the motor. Yeah. So what you get is a really good handling, natural handling uh, bike without being compromised by having to put a motor in it yeah. and build the bike around the motor. Right, okay. Um, it was kind of like the opposite of that. Okay. And that's, that's a little bit unique to them. Um, and that is their own motor, yeah, their own power unit, which they've been doing for years actually, but not necessarily in this application. Fantastic. So, so this is my beast for the day. Let's get on it. And let's go and uh, hit the trails at Degler. Okay, so this is where the brain is, essentially. Yeah. So this is called the iWalk. And you switch it on literally just by pressing the button. Yeah. Um, it will flash green, uh, and that will tell you what power mode you're in. Green is right. eco. Yeah. Uh, so to get the longest range out of the battery, you would have it in green. Yeah. And then it will always revert back to its battery condition. So uh, white is the full battery. Oh, that's There's clever, isn't it? Lights so go white, yeah. green orange red yeah um green is 25 percent orange is 50 red 25 and then yeah you want to get yourself home um and to go up through the modes there are three power modes so just click it once and it yeah. will flash orange that's your kind of mid yeah. power point now so you're getting about 60 percent of the power 70 percent of the power which is all adjustable yeah and then click it once more again and it'll go to red. That's what we call the ludicrous mode. So now you're getting full power out of the mode. Right, okay. It will only flash and then it will revert back to battery condition. Yes. So you can see on the fly how much power you've got left. And then likewise, to go back down through the powers, you just press the down button, back to green. And if you press it all the way, it will flash white. And that means there's no power at all. Okay. No assistance, okay. Right. Um, the idea with them is that you, 
it's been designed to be the most natural feeling bike yeah. that you can use uh, with power. Um, and so just get on it and ride it literally like you'd ride your normal okay. bike. Don't make any okay. accommodations for there being a motor in it. Okay. Just go ride it. Brilliant. Cool. So we come up this trail now, all uphill but steady uphill. And the first thing that's really surprised me, as soon as you get on it, the biggest surprise is how light the front end feels. And it's not just marketing bullshit about how it feels like a normal mountain bike. It really does, which is kind of weird, uh, but nice. And then you've got these three modes, as said before, but normally on my Bosch, I'd be going up the hill in trail and not eco, because eco isn't strong enough. But on this, it definitely seems like it's strong enough. Feels like when I was dead fit. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so far, so good. On the first bit where I can sort of open it up, but it's above the motor speed, which will be a lot of that here at Landegler. More mountain bike light, they're definitely right there. Um, nimble. It feels like it is ready to be chucked around. Certainly feels like it can jump all right. So it's me doing six inch jumps. Box 36 port by looks of things. Looking down, I haven't really looked at the components that much. So this is the middle of the range model, just realising not the carbon, this is the alloy one. Um, one of the things I heard was about a noisy, this being noisy here uh, for the motor and I can't hear a thing unless I'm going deaf. So I can definitely put that aside. Fox performance and we've got the can on the back without a piggyback. So this is, you know, this isn't like a um, super bling build. So that makes it even more impressive with the handling. So we've got trail ready, double down, aggressor on the rear, Maxxis, and then Minion DHF, and that's uh, double down as well on the front. Both rocking, uh, it's obviously 27.5 and 2.5s. Is that one open now? Yeah. Oh, sand. Come on in. Yeah, man. Anyway, we're off. See you in a bit. Running commentary. Hi! Holy moly! This is all new! Oh! Bloody hell! Didn't know this was here! <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a wipe. It's got no mud guard on, have you? Nah. It's a Buchanan on the Rocky Mountain. How's the 650B feel? Yeah, it does. Oh, new line, new line. I like. Is that? Lovely. Quite soft. I tell you what, you've like burying it into the corners. Yeah. 
a lot more than the other bike. I've got to talk about the transition on this thing between the three modes when you're going up between the modes it's not that no it's really like unnoticeable and then all of a sudden you realize you've got that bit more power very very smooth and ludicrous mode definitely the most power torque power i've ever felt on an e-bike um yeah it's like it's like ludicrous really should be called turbo because it's the truest thing i've seen to a turbo We'll go do it slow to start with. Like we'll get on to almost stop at the bottom. So Sonny and I, he's in Bosch. To bottom on turbo. Bosch turbo, I'm gonna be ludicrous. The only thing I will say is remember he's got like stupid turbo legs compared to me. But it could be interesting. Alright. Ready? Yeah. Go. Yeah, you can see, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even feel like I'm trying. Sonny is four bike lengths behind me right now. I think that says it all. That's unreal, isn't it? Say again. I stood up all the way. I just sat down and... I just sat down and span my legs. Taking your couple of stone lighter. Yeah. I was pushing. Yeah. As hard as I could up there. That's ridiculous, that is. About halfway round, I uh, guess. And uh, you can see the constant light is now green, which means I have used 25%. So, still got loads of battery. I like how simple that is. No silly screen, I'm not into these screens. Right, so, black jump line. Straight in. Oh, the sunny. See what she jumps like, eh? Hey? Whoa, a bit of a pencil then. Because the front end's so light, I've got to sort of compensate for that. Come on, sunny. Bloody rain. She flies lovely. There we go. Beeline. Take it steady on here because you don't know if they got bits of the mesh missing. I don't think they are. I think they've redone it. Like I said before, sorry about the crap on the lens. Kind of unavoidable today. I should have just put one of my RRPs. Oh, my RRPs on. The forks are definitely too soft on this for me. But the way it jumps, so easy to just pop it. <coughs> oh. Do the lens, do the lens. <sighs> Whoa, I got a kick. So one thing I realized down there, I definitely should have done my 
fork pressures but still jumps I mean the fact that it pops well with too soft a pressure is really good it should be working the opposite <laughs> Thought I was going to land on him then Here's the massive one that I've never seen anyone do oh, I think they've changed that Yeah Oh my god, the tyre was burping then Definitely not enough air in it. <laughs> Pretty weird when I get to this bit now and it's all opened up. It's so different. We found a new bit. Digging and stuff. A bit windy, sorry if it's wind noise on this one. How are you finding the glasses? They're sand, these are. They're like I like the I like that colour lens. So you got a broke nose. Yeah. And it's twisted. So can you click one of them one way and one the other? Do you know what? I haven't I haven't adjusted it because they actually fit better than my other glasses that I've had. Yeah. They're on the board walk. Last time I did this, there was someone stopped on the bit just ahead where you drop off it. Oof. So crap with that, oh my god. You forget a right faceful, mouthful, everything. Yeah, great for the inside line. That shorter wheelbase. One thing this bike's made me realise with an e-bike, you don't need that. You don't need your bike to be super long. Everyone's always going on about long bikes. And I don't think you do on especially on an e-bike because you've got that weight keeping it stable so the shortness actually makes it more nimble Everyone in here will know this climb this is savage it's a tough old climb so let's see how she handles it in ludicrous mode oh my god it's like I'm not even doing anything <laughs> The amount of times I've been sweating up here and struggling and blowing. Just nothing on this thing. Right, so we nearly completed it. We've done, probably got like, you know, a couple of climbs. Anyone knows this, knows where we are now. And I've just hit the orange lights, which means got 50%. And Dan was just telling me that it's quite smart. What it does is when it gets starts ebbing towards the end of its battery life it actually lets off the power it produces and sort of drops it so you get a bit more out of it a bit hopefully i can keep the camera out of the mud put the mud out of the camera or not to get a decent bit of footage on this one Oh, it just sails them! This is the last little bit of a rough track. It's a little bit ominous about this low pressure in the rear tyre. Don't want to come off. Let's be honest with it. So this is super bumpy. Wow. It takes it like it's not even there. It's so very weird. 
<laughs> Might as well. Never ride this bit normally at the end of some racing. So that's what happens if you don't use an RRP oh, mug guard. Proof's in the pudding. Uh, uh, Gotta say, um, what an awesome bike. Um, you know, I can't knock it. The only thing I read that was uh, uh, sort of an anti on it was about it being noisy here, and it's just totally not. So I don't know where they got that from. There was an original roller here that's been replaced by this one, so that solved that. Best thing about it, 100% handling. Um, the way it feels like a normal bike, it's brilliant. So, give us your comments on this bike. I want to know what you think about it, what you think about the Rocky Mountain brand. I'll be holding on to it for a bit and testing it out and maybe getting a gravel bike off them too soon. So, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you check out all the links in the description and all our affiliates where you can buy the products that we use at a cheaper rate. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep it pinned.